What's going on? It's CVV, Chris Van Vliet, and you gotta check out Josh Denker's YouTube channel. It's called Josh's Toy Show, and if you love wrestling figures, this is the place to be. He has some incredible reviews there. So Josh's Toy Show, check it out. Hey guys, the Ultimate Warrior has arrived to share his last appearance, his final words, with you, the Ultimate Warrior fans. Hey guys, what's up, Josh here, back again with another video, and welcome back guys to another figure review. Today's figure that we are taking a look at today is the WWE Legends Series 8 Ultimate Warrior. Yes, guys, at long last, I finally got this figure on my hands. Uh, this figure was one of the um, best figures in Legend Series 8, and it was one of my highly expected figures from this set. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a closer look at the packaging first. So here he is in the box. He comes with um, a set of interchangeable hands. Comes with a robe, microphone with the Scratch logo, and the Ultimate Warrior mask. Got a picture of him on the side here from the moment his last appearance. Old scrap the old WWE logo, Ultimate Warrior right here. True Effects Series Eight Elite Collection. On the back, you can see his stats. You can pause right there if you want to read. And the other figures in the line, we have the Ultimate Warrior, Eddie Guerrero, Jake the Snake Roberts, and Mister Wonderful Poor. Paul Orndorff. Uh, um, the link to my review of Eddie Guerrero will be in the description. Uh, so definitely check that out. Ultimate Warrior we were reviewing in this video. Jake the Snake, I'm definitely going to get him at some point. I'm um, still on the hunt for him. Paul Orndorff, a uh, very underrated figure according to some of my friends out there in the figure community. But um, I'm going to get him at some point. Alrighty, guys. I will see you guys in the next clip when I get the warrior out of his packaging. I will be right... Alrighty, guys. Here is the ultimate warrior out of his packaging. And boy, guys, this figure looks absolutely sick. Mattel really nailed the crap out of this figure. Mattel really, really nailed this figure all around. So, great job, Mattel. But before we get a close look at the figure, let's take a close look at the accessories he comes with. So, first to start off... He comes with a set of interchangeable hands. As you can see, these are the pointing fingers. Uh, we have gotten these with other uh, elite figures before, like The Miz and Daniel Bryan and etc. So, it's not the first time we're seeing these. Um, he also does come with the Scratch Logo microphone, as you can see. It has the Scratch Logo. If you're wondering why it doesn't have the current logo on it, eh, this moment was based off in 2014. So, I like the way that they uh, added the Scratch logo on it as, like, a reference to when this moment was based off. So, that was a good thing. So, cool to have the Scratch logo on my phone. And he also comes with the Ultimate Warrior mask. It's very tiny in my hand, as you can see. Awesome. And it goes really well on his face, as you can see, like that. And he also does come with the robe right here. So, yeah, let's take a close look at the figure. Alrighty, guys, so here he is. Uh, I'm going to take the mask off so you can see his face again. Um, this is a good likeness to the warrior. 
um, modern day we're gonna based off his last appearance. This is a good reference, a uh, good face scan of him. He has a gray uh, tuxedo on with some brown shoes. Well, brown dress shoes. He has the microphone in his hand right there. Here's the robe. I love the detail on the robe. It has the warrior with the intercontinental title on his waist. And it's got a lot of colors on it. Um, the robe is cloth material, which I love. And now, the mask goes on his head really simple. All you just do is put it on like that. It really doesn't go on his face that well, but it looks cool. On his head, look at that. That's awesome right there. So yeah, I'm not gonna like change his pose because I'm gonna display him on my shelf. Um, but yeah, this is a, an awesome figure to uh, uh, remember the Ultimate Warrior. Um, this figure is awesome. Uh, yeah, so this figure is based off Ultimate Warrior's last appearance on Raw the night after he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Sadly, the day after Ultimate Warrior passed away, it was the saddest day for wrestling fans. All around the world. And this is a great figure to commemor to remember the legacy of the Ultimate Warrior. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys for the outro of this video. Alrighty, guys. That is about going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys thought of the Legend Series 8 Ultimate Warrior figure. Just let me know down below in the comments. Also, guys, I highly recommend you pick this figure up for yourselves. It's a great figure if you want to remember the legacy of the late, great Ultimate Warrior. And if you just want to remember this moment in general from when you watched wrestling and you saw the Ultimate Warrior for the very last time, I highly recommend you get this figure because this figure is rare from the Legends um, set in terms of Series 8. So get this figure fast. And follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down below. Cop some merch on my merch store, bonfire.com slash store slash Josh's Toy Show. Link will be down below in the description. Cop some assassin swags. Show your support to your favorite assassin. And please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. But for now, Josh out. Peace! Oh, yeah.